Well, today we are in one of the coolest places in the entire state of South Carolina, Congaree National Park. There is so much that's special about Congaree. Not only is it South Carolina's only national park, but it is also home to the largest concentration of champion trees in North America. The trees here are some of the largest of their species, some even reaching the heights of a 17-story building, which is pretty big. And I've never been here before, so I'm super pumped to get to explore today. Let's go for it. Manchester. He is a ranger here at Congaree National Park and is going to be helping us out today. John, can you tell me what is so unique about Congaree National Park and why would people want to experience it in South Carolina? Well, not only is it the last remaining really large intact section of old growth bottomland hardwood, something you really don't find anywhere else anymore, but it's also a wilderness area 25 minutes outside the city of Columbia and two hours away from Greenville, Spartanburg or Charleston and you really don't find areas as remote seeming as this without actually having to drive two hours away from a major city. Yeah, you definitely feel like you're in another world for sure. I've heard that one of the coolest ways to experience Congaree is actually on the water. Is that right? That is true. Yeah, you get to actually get back into places that you don't really get to see on our foot trails. So you can really experience true wilderness if you're out on the water in a kayak or canoe. Awesome. So do you think we could get out and paddle for a little bit? I think that should be something we can do today. Awesome. Let's go for it. Those are barred owls. Um, they do make some funky sounds sometimes. Yeah, they sound like monkeys. Can you hear the cicadas? The cicadas can be deafening sometimes here in the summer, but it's one of those just iconic summer sounds. Yeah. Uh, this is literally the most outdoorsy I have ever been in my life. Yeah, once you get out here, it's a little easier a little close to you. Oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, people ask about, you know, alligators and snakes. Most of our snakes are non-venomous and they don't want to hurt anybody. And even the venomous snakes, they're not going to really be a danger to us unless we're messing with them. Mm -hmm. Alligators, we are in their range, but we don't typically see many here in Congaree. spider. Ooh, ooh, that's a really big spider. We do have some spiders in here too. This is the season for our golden silk orb weavers. They're very large spiders, but they're gentle ladies. I mean, this is kind of wild. Ah! Oh, no! So Devin, in my seven years I've been here, you were the first person to go in the water. <laughs> well, folks, I fell in. <sighs> My ranger said that it was the first time in seven years that anybody has fallen in. So I've taken that title. It will go down in infamy. And you know, if you ask, my friends, my family, anybody who knows me, they would say, Devin is not an outdoorsy person. And yet, Today, I had a lot of fun. Congaree is seriously spectacular. It's so peaceful. So even if you are an indoorsy person and maybe wouldn't consider this type of experience as a vacation, I would absolutely encourage you to go for it. No regrets, maybe don't fall out of the boat, but give it a shot. It's absolutely worth it. i 
seven years, the first person. <laughs> The first one, you broke my record The first today, one to fall out, and it's me.